If you weren't scared enough by the possibility of Joe Biden being president, um, not that you should be more scared of that than Donald Trump being president, MarijuanaMoment.net has this story. Biden pledges to force people who use drugs to enroll in mandatory treatment programs. This is the myth of decriminalization come to life. Oh, we're not going to make you a criminal. We're just going to force you into treatment. I'd rather go to jail than some kind of forced government medical treatment. I mean, I think of all the time that I've spent dealing with the VA even. Oh, geez, I'd rather have done a weekend in jail than spent the hundreds of hours I have on the phone dealing with this socialized medicine program. And now, if Biden is, is elected, it could get to this next level of viciousness. In a recent speech, Democratic President nominee Joe Biden reaffirmed his position that people convicted of low-level drug offenses should be forced into rehabilitation in order to stay out of jail and get their records cleared. Well, the former vice president seems to view the policy as a progressive alternative to incarceration. Many drug reform advocates feel mandatory treatment reinforces misconceptions about substance misuse, and they point out that the efficacy of forced rehabilitation programs are scientifically questionable. Now, how could this be? Okay, so right now you get arrested for, for cannabis possession, you go to jail. How could you possibly see it as progressive where we're going to send you to a treatment center that's going to keep you there like jail, but also force medical treatment on you? Jail, but with forced medical treatment? That's, that's Joe Biden's concept of progress that progressives seem to be falling for. Quote from uh, Biden from Kenosha, Wisconsin last week, anybody who gets convicted of a drug crime, not one that is in terms of massive selling, but consumption, they shouldn't go to prison. They should go to mandatory rehabilitation. Instead of building more prisons, as I've been proposing some for some time, we build rehabilitation centers. We're not, they're, they're like prisons, but because we offer medical treatment, we can call them rehab centers instead. That's already what happens in prisons. Except that the treatment when you're in prison is usually a little more optional.